Good evening, gentlemen. I'm Al Heyman, and I just want to introduce myself as CEO of PBC with respect to all my friends here, because we're all friends. First, I'd like to introduce Bob Aram of the, the CEO of Top Rake. How you doing, Bob? Thank you, Al. And y'all gonna have to forgive our old guy, our old ancient guy like me, who's not used to seeing a darkie at the head of our commission. Now, and then on the other side, we have Oscar De La Hoya, the CEO of Golden Boy. He's a friend of ours also. Hell, fuck you. You beat me by one vote. It should be me. I should be the head of the commission. You beat me only by one vote. I think it's unfair, but let's continue. And we also have Victor Conte, the head CEO of Snack. Gentlemen, this is the commission, and we're going to talk about it. What's going on, gentlemen? I am Victor Conte of Snack, and I am a friend. But I do believe that my grievances have merit. And I do believe you guys, you know, are going to make me an escape go here. Now that we have all our friends gathered, let's talk about it, gentlemen. How did things go so far? How did things get so far? How? I never once said anything about Bob. I never said anything about Oscar or Victor. I never hated on you guys. Why are you hating on me so bad? I see you and I respect you, Al. But I see you as a monkey that took all the bananas and you won't let the other monkeys eat. I refuse to draw from the well of a monkey. Al, you took my fighters. You took my business. You make me look bad. And you think I'm just going to lay down for that? I'm Oscar De La Hoya. I'm a fighter. You guys never fought. So for me, it is a point of honor that I get a taste of what you got going on. That's the only way that you're going to make amends and be a friend to Golden Boy. Well, Oscar, was it a point of honor to put spoons and appliances up your ass? Was that a point of honor? And what, what part of honor is putting a spatula up your ass? And then you had the, the, the fishnet pantyhose with the high heels. Um, um, I don't care what a man does, but that is just fucking weird. Just fucking weird. Fuck you, Bob. Nobody said anything when you screwed over Ali. You killed Ali, Bob. Nobody said a word, so you just shut up. You just shut your old mouth and go ahead and croak already. Okay, gentlemen, I understand why you're here, but I don't understand why why Victor Conte is here. Why am I here? Why is Snack here? You know, I'm a friend, but I don't think I need to be here. You guys can figure it out on your own. Victor, we're here to talk about the drugs. We got to get rid of the drugs. I understand gambling and whores and everything and drink that's what the public want but we got to get rid of the drugs what the fuck you mean get rid of the drugs al you came to me with the crawford thing you came to me when you needed crawford to win now you want to make me the scapegoat of this bullshit what the hell you mean so when you come up with a scheme where you down and out and you come to Victor Conte and you're looking for some help and now Victor Conte, he delivers. That's what I do. I deliver. And now you want to get rid of me. I think this is bullshit. You know, when you needed help and you needed a friend, Victor Conte was a friend. Now I need you guys to be a friend to me. You know what I'm saying? This is straight up bullshit, Al. You know, you should have my back too. Sometimes when a nigga go to making money, they think they too big. They think they done outgrown getting touched up by the industry. But the shit can still happen, Victor. Could be sh you know, sometimes motherfuckers get it twisted. 
Just because they don't see me, don't mean I'm not there. Ready to bust your ass, Victor. It is what it is, nigga. Okay? Victor, you don't want to be my friend anymore. I offer friendship. And you seem to want to refuse my friendship. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to make you an offer you can't refuse. Out of business of the past, I'm going to ask you, Victor, one time and one time only. Do you want to be my friend? Do you want to be my friend, Victor? But, but of course, of course, Godfather. Yes, sir. yes, I do want to be your friend. I was just frustrated. I was just, just stating my grievances. Of, yes, of course, of course, uh, Don Al Heyman. You know, the hell with all that intimidation stuff, Al. I'm old, so, you know, you're going to have to let us drink from the well. You know what I mean? From the clean well. We want some of that prime money. Our friends let other friends eat, Al. You know, we're going to hate on the PBC in your ass forever. We want some of that Amazon Prime money. You know, let us get a taste. And I know what you're going to say. You're going to say we sued you. But we're gangsters, you know. Let bygones be bygones, you know. Give us some of that Prime action and we'll call it even, Al. I too would like to have a, a little wet my beak from the well. Uh, you took everything from me and I would like some of the Amazon Prime money. I would like it. If you would be my friend, I would like to be getting on the deal. I would like the, the fighters that you took from me. I would like Eric Spence back. I would like the Charo brothers. They owe me, they owe me homage. I mean, would a friend leave me with just Ryan Garcia? Would a friend just leave me with Virgil Ortiz who can't even make weight? You know, these things you have to look at. Uh, they don't look very good. You know, be and then we have Hamid Mangia, you know. Oh, I don't even know what to say. He don't even compare to any fighter of today or yesteryear. So you, you, you want to be my friend? Hamming Gia sucks so bad, even Lomo Chico could beat him. So you left me in bad condition, Al. And what I think is, you owe me. And I need you to let me wet my beak with Amazon Prime. Perhaps a cross-promotional deal we can do, Al. How about it? You know, you give me some of your fighters to fight my fighters. And we get the pay-per-views. How about it? How about it, Al? Be a friend. Gentlemen, gentlemen, it's all cool. You know, I came here to talk about getting the drugs out of boxing, but you want to come in to touch my Amazon Prime deal. Is that what we said? As you know, Don Al Heyman is an honorable man, a reasonable man, and I will never refuse an accommodation for a friend. I will allow you guys to drink from the well. But as you know, as a point of honor, there has been disrespect. And there's one condition to drink from this will that you all must consider from Don L. Heyman. For you to get a percentage of the Amazon Prime pay-per-views, you all must say that you're a PBC bitch. All I will top rank and golden boy to say you're PBC bitch. Victor... Uh, we don't want the drugs anymore. And if you don't disappear, we're going to make you an offer that you can't refuse. Okay? Now I'll bow down to the PBC. Don Al Heyman. Right now. So kiss the ring, bitches. Kiss the ring. Right now. Kiss the ring of the king of boxing oh I, I, I don't know I, I don't feel I don't feel okay I am a PBC uh, bitch okay I golden boy is a PBC bitch I said it okay are we friends now okay ah I, I don't give a fuck you know what I'm saying uh, I'm, I'm old 
I don't care what nobody thinks, you know. Yes, I'm a PBC. Top rank is a PBC bitch. I'm a PCC bitch. Yeah, yeah. Well, friend, people don't understand. It's about the money. It's not about how you look. That's what's wrong with you people. That's where you never can make it. You know, I'm a top rank PBC bitch. So let's make some money, okay? So that's so that's it. I'm out. Is that how you guys are going to do me, y'all? I'm out, and you guys are in. You're going to need me again one day. It is what it is. I'm a, top, I'm a PBC bitch, and whatever. And, you know, if the, if the feds come after me, you know, this thing is bigger than me. This thing is bigger than me. You know how I get down. I'm a snitch. That's how I, that's how I get down. You know how I do. This, big, this shit is bigger than me. No, Victor, you, you've been a hell of a contributor, but now, you know, your bitch has got to go now. You gotta go now. Your, your, your big bitch ass gotta go. So now we're gonna put Javante on your ass. We're gonna put AB on your ass. So it, it just is what it is. Now we got to we gotta get rid of your ass like I got rid of Castile. And I, I beat him two times. And, you know, I'm the greatest. I'm TBE. And now, you know, we're gonna have to do something with your ass. Because, you know, you're not as great as me. And you done made Al upset. Now we gotta rock a you. Now we got to, now we got to make sure you're silent, okay? It is what it is, bro. PBC for life, baby. So, I just want to let everybody know that I'm never going to break the peace that we have made here today and allow all of us to be friends and allow no one to break the peace. Yo, Al, I think it was that bitch-ass Alka de la Hoya that was plotting on you, bro. I think it was that bitch ass Oscar, bro. What do you think, man? How did, how did you know? No. Delahoya never had the brains or the courage to go against me. And Bob, he was just too old. I always knew it was Eddie Hearn of the zone behind all this. And now that the PBC is once again the head of the four families, we can move our operations out to Las Vegas. Put that into effect, Floyd, immediately. And always remember, Floyd, keeps your friends close, but your enemies closer. PBC for life, baby. PBC for life.